Hi everybody, today I thought I would do a disassembly on the CRKT Symmetry, which is a UK legal flip joint, uh, which runs on bearings. Mine is not the smoothest thing in the world, as you can maybe see, the blade is certainly not fall shutty. Um, that's kind of expected when you've got two detents, pressing one on each side of the knife, where on... Uh, frame lock you've only got one detent pressing on the side of the knife so there's half the resistance in a frame lock which can lead to the blade being much more smooth so we're going to take this knife apart and have a look on the inside every screw here is of the same size that's something that i very much like unfortunately they're all t6 which is something that i don't like the best way that i've found of doing this so far is to take out the pivot And the two screws in the inlay on the show side. They are both different sizes to the pivot screw, but the same size as each other, as far as I can tell. Then flip it over. Well, the inlay falls out, yes. But flip it over, and then I would take out these two screws here. That's just the way it was easier on my particular knife. CRKT used a lot of thread locker on this knife, unfortunately. So the screws that come out easier may be a bit different to you, but I'll show you another reason why I chose to do it that way once we're inside. So, knife is now apart. Very, very small stop pin, you don't want to lose that. I'll put it in my little magnetic dish over here. There is bearings on each side. Push the pivot out. There we go. There's a second bearing. Other side of the pivot. You can see that we have a detent bar, a detent ball on each side of the frame. We also have a washer on each side of the frame. They are just washers. I'm not going to take them out because they just are washers and they seem to stay in okay. So there's no need to. This is the interesting piece here though. So this is, I guess, a backspacer of sorts. Um, it's not really a traditional, certainly not a full backspacer, but it's spacer in the back of the knife, so we'll call it a backspacer. Now, the interesting thing here is there's these two silver, like Chicago screws, if you like. These screws here are screwed into these two silver pieces, which are just threaded through this blue um, lanyard loop backspacer piece. Uh, they are not completely, well, as far as I can see, this piece here is completely spherical. This one here actually has a D shape to it. Uh, so if you're reassembling this, you're gonna have to make sure that you have them the right way around uh, and that the D shape is the right way around. That's part of the reason that I've left this side all screwed together. It's also quite tight. Certainly my backspacer is quite tight to thread over these Chicago screws. So I've opted to just take the screws from the other side out and the screws from the other side thread through these two pieces here, which are essentially spacers for the clip. The clip gets screwed on to the top of that. These do not seemingly come out. I think they're pressure fit um, from the factory, so I'm not gonna be making any attempt to get them out. I, I assume that they are sort of pressure fitted in and designed to stay in. So I'm gonna stick a knife back together now. I'm gonna be using some 10 weight nano oil um, from a very broken tube of 10 weight nano oil, but I don't want to waste it. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, the only reason I'm not giving any more of this a clean as we do this is because I had it apart very, very recently and gave it a clean and it hasn't been carried since I last had it apart. Uh, and it was only when I took it apart to clean it myself that I realised it was probably worth doing a video on this one because there is some oddities inside here. So you wanna make sure that you've got your um, washer in before the bearing, mine is in, but make sure that yours is as well. Like I said, mine stay in quite well, so unlikely that it will fall out. So we just putting the stop pin back in. It's a very small fiddly stop pin, so you wanna be quite careful with that. I would suggest putting the blade kind of half open, half, half closed like this. 
so that it's not touching the stop pin because at the moment it'd be very easy to knock the stop pin out. And I'm going to put on second bearing and I'm going to attempt to take the lid off my nano oil. There we go, just a little bit on there. Yeah, there we go. See that big splodge there? My tube of nano oil is pretty broken. I'll need to get some stuff. I think I'll go for some of the light KPL this time. I have some KPL heavy and it's pretty good. Oh, that's made a mess. Right, okay. That should be fine. It'll be good enough for the for the video. And uh, if it causes problems, I'll take it apart again later. But I think that's most of that gone. Right. So... Little bit of lubrication, not as much as fell out for me there. Other handle side back on, you heard that pop, that's a good noise. Um, it all does kind of snap together, certainly at the back of the knife. I think I'm in in the right place, there we go. Uh, I would put the pivot screw in first, that's certainly how I do it. Um, if you're disassembling perhaps from the um, from what would be the lock side on a frame block from the other side <laughs> um, you might be able to put your clip screws back in first that could be quite a good idea or of course if you took these two screws out instead you could probably put them back in instead of your pivot first but the pivot first certainly works okay for me and we can adjust the pivot tension and everything once it's all back together of course You've maybe seen as I've been doing this, that there's quite a variance in the colour of the screws. Um, these are quite a good example. These are the clip screws. Oh, well, you can see that one of these is pretty dark and the other is really pretty pale. It's not really an issue. The heads both look quite similar, but for me, one of the scales on the show side is far, far darker, like a very deep purple. Um, and the others are more of a blue. More of the same as same color as the clip for most of them. Now, when you're putting your clip back on, I got this wrong the first time. You want to make sure that the dip is down the way. It can be attached either way up, which is not something that I'm used to having. I'm used to being able to get wrong really with a folding knife, but you can certainly get it wrong here. You'll see that I'm also not using any thread lock that this time. That is because there's a huge amount of thread lock on these screws from the factory. Um, and I was finding this screw was essentially free spinning. It was rotating right the way through. So the first time I disassembled this, I needed a second, um, a second T6 to take it apart. It's not bad, or pretty good centering wise. Ooh, we're pretty good blade play wise. I don't think I'm going to do any more fiddling with that. Action is certainly smoother than it was before. There we go. Yeah, like I said, so um, if you're taking this apart yourself, your own symmetry apart, be aware that a lot of the screws are very, very thoroughly thread locked. Mine did break with a bit more pressure, but with more pressure than I probably should have been putting in. Uh, and the 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 lanyard loop backspacer here with this kind of Chicago screw setup is quite unusual when you're taking it apart as well. Um, but I I think that's it. Certainly running a bit smoother now. Thanks for watching. Bye.